And new tonight, a crook makes a clean getaway after stealing a woman's purse outside of a popular Chinatown restaurant. The entire thing was caught on camera, and now police are hoping that somebody recognizes the thief. Our Alyssa Bethencourt reports. The robbery took less than 30 seconds, and it happened in broad daylight here at Fuku Burger. The thief using a tool just like this one to smash through the window before getting away. Pieces of shattered glass cover the parking lot of this popular burger spot in Chinatown. The fragments left behind after a brazen break in on Tuesday afternoon. Swooped in, it was a matter of seconds, but he didn't realize there was a camera right there, recorded everything. Police are looking for the man captured on this surveillance video, which appears to show him swiping a woman's purse out of the back seat of her car. The thief waiting for the woman to enter the restaurant before pulling up, breaking the window, and speeding off. I would have never guessed that that could happen that quickly. I always make sure I lock the door, but in this case, that doesn't seem to matter. So security expert Jonathan Alvarez says the crime is more common than you may think, especially in instances like these where people leave valuable items in their car, even if it's just for a moment. It's daily. Criminals are getting a little bit more brazen uh, and taking a lot more risks. Alvarez says thieves use window punches and window breaks that are supposed to be safe for emergency situations situations like escaping from a car. Instead, criminals are taking advantage for all the wrong reasons. Unfortunately, you know, the same tools that are used for good can also be used for evil. Now, police are hoping this crystal clear surveillance footage will help them catch the crook on the run. We're going to get you. This is a matter of time. So again, police need your help. If you recognize the man in that video, you're asked to call Crime Stoppers at 702-385-5555. Reporting in Chinatown, I'm Melissa Bethencourt.